back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And I'm Promise. Yep. So my friend has come to visit us, and so we have been very excited. Anjali has been wanting to do henna uh, Mendy again, and uh, we finally got some new tubes, and um, we were actually going to look up a little bit of the history of henna. So, um, and Anjali has picked a design. Do you want to show them your design? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to try. <laughs> Promise and I are going to try our best to do Anjali's hands. So, uh, as best we can. And then Promise has brought Anjali's Indian dress here. So we are going to try that on when she has her henna done. So it's a day of beauty today. All right. The history of henna. If you want to start, Promise, I'll okay. read. The art of Mendy has been practiced for centuries in India, Africa, and the Middle East. Mummies have been designed with henna. Well documented that Cleopatra herself used henna. Um, we think of them like tattoos, but they're, uh, they do come off. So Mendy is described as the practice of applying henna. It's the word in the Hindi language that describes henna painting. So we apply henna, but we are practicing the art of Mendy. Right? Mm -hmm. Henna is a plant which grows 10 to 15 feet high. And they're made into paste using oils and tea and then applied to the skin, staining just the top layer. In a natural state, we'll dye the skin to an orange brown color. So we've actually, we've tried, Anjali have tried doing this before on ourselves. And um, we've actually gone, there was a couple carnivals that there were some girls, some Indian girls that did it for us. That that came out really awesome. Yeah. And Auntie has done it on you when we've gone to visit her as well. Yeah. So um, not the first time. Uh, so no chemical will take it off. It just has to like slowly come off. Henna is considered an herb and has been known to possess healing qualities. In ancient times it's been used for ailments and headaches, and stomach pains. Interesting. I know, my question was... And they came back again. And Jaden came back again to show off his tattoo. Mm -hmm. Is that, that the description talked about, you know, the reason why henna, you know, that henna is used and yeah. it's a plant. But my question is, is it only used for weddings? Ooh, that's a good... I like when they do weddings because they do like your full hand. They do a lot, yeah. You could be in the henna preparation just preparing it for half a day. And then you have to wait for it to... It's so pretty once it dries. Mm -hmm. It's like your nails. Like you paint them and then you have to wait for them to dry, but once they dry, they're really pretty. And it lasts a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look. Is it only for a Hindu weddings, henna is painted on the bride to symbolize joy, beauty, spiritual awakening, and offering. Do it on the feet and the hands mm -hmm. and everywhere. So, we're back and we had fun doing henna. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. So Anjali's hands are done. Promise did one, and I did the other. And then Anjali did Promise's hand, and she did my hand. So we really had a lot of fun doing this. We know when the day after it always looks darker, so because we've done it before. So now we're going to pause again, and we're going to go get Anjali dressed up in her traditional dress that um, might be a little big, but we'll make it fit. All right, <laughs> hold on. Anj, are you ready yet? Yeah. All right, come on down. Oh, Aww. little princess. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. All right, I'm gonna so back up here. so that they can see the whole dress. It's like Princess Jasmine. I love it. There's so much beautiful beading on this, and um, it's beautiful. So. Auntie sent it to me. Actually, his sister gave it to me, but after three babies, I could not fit into it. So now it is Anjali's, and um, hopefully when we come to India, we'll get some more dresses, right? Yeah, these are beautiful. Not that we have too many places here to wear them, but beautiful, right? We'll make places. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like. If you like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.